round game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, game. We in this in this thing I say hey, what you doing here? If you ain't looking for no Aries, we stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, 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 turn up for Aries. Pop that, crank that, shake that, turn up for what Aries. What's poppin', gang, gang? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of an Aries for the month of August 2019? <laughs> <laughs> Are we in this space of knowing, reflecting, trusting what we know to be true because it always shows itself after the fact, even if we gotta wait a little while to be true? <laughs> you guys, if you can't tell, I feel good. Welcome to August, though, to hold you lie away and what's popping. Hey, listen, hey, boo, hey, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the call I say. Oh, but I'm cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading on YouTube that can assist you without cussing, like right now at this very moment. And I love you long time, because me, I'm a cuss, all right? To the new subscribers, hey, y'all. Welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We do that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss, we grow, we share, we love, we enlighten one another, we evolve. Positive vibes only over here, okay? This message, you guys, may or may not resonate with everybody. You guys take what does lead the rest. Go watch the sun, moon, rise, and Venus hill. Go watch a cross watch it if you want to. Listen, because they every damn well. Aries, why is it that people be trying to get in the comments and be like, oh, Aries is, I will never talk to an Aries. I talked to him four years ago. Bitch, and you still watch these comments? You still watch these videos now? You miss us. You do. You do. It's hard not to miss an Aries. Who wouldn't miss us? We're the greatest. The best. Okay. All right. So, you guys, um, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the readings, the comments. You guys, thank you for the support. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Um, also, go check the community tab. I've been putting uh, different sales up for this summer because I'm going to be vacationing in the month of September. So, I've been trying to get it, get it how I live right now as far as extending and, you know, spreading all this love and all of this because I'm going to have a hot girl summer in, in September throwing ass everywhere, all right? I may make y'all part of the footage. Y'all know I'm in tune with my light and my shadows and hide that for what? <laughs> Transparent. I am. Let's get it. All right. So, you guys, this will be for the month of August 2019. You guys, if you need a personal, hit me up. There will be kind of changes and structures. I do got a one question, $15 reading going on right now, but it will be sent via video. So, just send me your, um, email me your question, um, and then I can go ahead and get back to you. The 30 through 60 minute readings have a $15 off special, and those will be done by phone only. Okay. So, um, y'all. Let's get into it, all right? We're going to start with the intuitive messages for my baby best. For my baby Y'all missed y'all. I feel so good and goofy today. Who else woke up feeling all goofy today? The first. Who else, who else woke up feeling all good? The retrograde, gone, gone. I was all sick and stuff. I was able, I wasn't really able to really kind of get in the tune of doing those videos. Y'all, I really had to deal with my own shit. You know, I got that Pisces moon, so I be in my feelings. <laughs> so deep in my feelings. I get up in there. And that Libra and me had to balance that out. You know, it's a lot of, it was a lot of different aspects that was really kind of cranking off. I believe Mercury was in Cancer. Hell, my Venus in Gemini. That's Mercury's planet. Damn, uh, Neptune was retrograding. That's the damn Pisces moon. Uh, Chiron was retrograding in Aries, I believe. Hell, that, bam, that the wounded healer. So some of y'all could definitely have to turn out an up, up, uproar with them, either uh, a Pisces, a damn Sagittarius, or hell, other Aries. So it, it, it was really going down, okay? Um, water signs was not so nice. They was acting real fiery, okay? And air signs was just all over. They just wasn't getting it. So I, I listen. It was, it was a, <laughs> my high girl summer been a confused. It's been 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 a confused ass summer. Listen, it's, <laughs> we just going with the flow. <laughs> going with the flow of things. Shit. Hey, I, did, I did Sagittarius video uh, for those of you who are here cross watching for a Sag. If you notice, I took some wine today. Reading yesterday. Listen, it is what it is, and that's what it's gonna be. And things are going to get better from here. But for now, it's accepting 
the things that you cannot control rounds. And it could be a bit hard, it could be rounds, but a lot of us have learned the element of fuck it in those past eight years of Uranus. If Uranus can teach you anything else, it should have taught you fuck it. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay? So let's get it. For Aries, intuitive messages for you guys. I got blockage, blessings, soul lessons, sword of truth. Allow yourself to be the vessel. Yes. Catalyst to awakenings. Family reunions. Sacral chakra. Reunions. Forgiveness. Breaking family cycles. Sacred space. Business endeavors. Flourishing. Come on now. Just trust. Silencing of the inner self. Prosperity. Self-love. Focus, only see love, renewals, spiritual protection. Let's get it, Aries. Come on. Come on, positive shit. God damn time. Listen, I dug into Aries. I was like, yeah, drama free. D no bush. Yeah, this is what we like to see. All right. You guys, Aries, I actually, I'm going to start with your angel message. The overall energy around, um, the reading, I got the Queen of Spades, okay? And to clarify what that Queen of Spades was, being the motherfucking sword of truth. Listen, halt. Who goes there? I'll have your motherfucking head if you're not careful, okay? So with that said, you guys, it's about standing in your truth. You didn't do all of this work for nothing. There's a blessing on the other side, and we like, see the top. We literally on, we've made it to the other side of this blessing. And then here comes out, you know, when you cut the lights off, you know, you cut the lights back on, you know, the roaches begin to skirt. You know, they begin to scatter everywhere, you know. So it's about, you know, killing your killing the roaches without slapping the shit out of them, you know. But, you know, spraying that, spraying, putting your poison where it needs to go to get rid of them. And when you put your poison there, usually them roaches are going to go find that damn poison. They're going to kill their damn self. You don't got to do all of that shit. Say what you mean and mean what you say, okay. Angel message during this time. And also, when I kept uh, shuffling the cards, y'all, this damn Ace of Pentacles, because it was the, uh, the energy that I felt with the pre-shuffle is that a lot of Aries are leaving things and people behind. Some of us are feeling bad about having to do so because you could have recently reconciled with somebody. But just in case, just because you forgave somebody don't mean that you got to fuck with them like that. It was a lesson learned. How do you know that you weren't, you weren't used as a catalyst? And I'm going to go into this because spirit is really on my head about us being used as a catalyst during this time to other people's awakenings. The person who broke your heart ripped you to shreds. Really, if you look at it from a positive aspect, this person actually assists you toward that path of awakening. So there's no need in looking at them with malice or with anger. You get what I'm saying? It's it's like them coming forth and they them being expectant or they they want to expect to you know know that they you know I got under Aries skin I push Aries button but really they coming back just to find out that bitch I'm making heads roll and looking great in doing so might I say in my power now the little bit that you had <laughs> give it back thank you okay that is what this is about Aries angel message you guys got was remember who you are. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. Got a message for you, Aries. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved, okay? So with that said, you we don't you don't need you're not needing anybody during this time to validate your greatness. Validate your star player. Validate that validate your own damn star player and just have this knowing and walk and move on what it is that you know. You don't need anybody to validate your moves because you open the door to allowing people to project their views, their fears, their doubts into your world. And we not already sift past we pass that level of the game. We on the whole we in fact we shut down the whole level. Now we on a level where they go, uh do no 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 you know, we, we leveling up, okay? I'm a Super Mario Brothers fan. Don't don't knock me. It's my inner kid, all right? But a lot of you all, this also has to do with you being used as a vessel. Trust the God that lives within you and allow it to speak, Aries, when you know it's trying to speak. Others of you, this has to do with you actually, the, the, the spirit also of procrastination. I'm hearing procrastination. Some of you guys are going to be moving out of this energy of feeling as if, you know, well, well, I, I know what I have to do, but, you know, I'm not really knowing which direction to go about doing so. 
or for that matter, I'm not really knowing, you know, how to move. So I'm just going to sit still and wait for it to come to me because I know it's coming because I've not already seen it. The spirit showed it to me, so I know it's mine. But the thing is, you got to do your part, okay? And sitting in fear and sitting and waiting on somebody else to pop it off before you pop it off. We the show stoppers. We set it off, okay? What Erica Badu say, never the life of the party, but I get it started. And okay, when I call you back, okay, some of y'all gotta call these people back. Some of you all, it's about prioritizing, remembering who you are, remembering your purpose, remembering remembering your storm to get you to this ace of pentacles. Because when I was doing the pre-shuffle baby, a lot of you Aries again are leaving people behind you, having this fear and this 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 feeling of Feeling as if you you feel bad about doing so. Others of you may be reconciling with friends, but you're still accepting the fact that they can't go. And there's there's an issue around that acceptance. Others of you, there's this need of not allowing a, a energy of, you know, this this energy of the ego or this energy of I'ma show your ass to drive your car. Leading that that that's that's that steering that's steering you on your path because you ain't gonna show nobody but your own goddamn self when you make that damn U-turn and that damn car gotta go around that detour to start back over because you're not moving you're not moving from an honest space and a pure space of the God within you. You're moving from this worldly ass ego that don't that God don't give a fuck about. Truth be told. Aries, you're on the brink of a new opportunity. New beginning. For some of you all, this is, um, I'm literally hearing children. This is births, okay? For others of you, this is opportunities that were saw by you, but literally synchronicities kept pointing to you that things were getting ready to expand into your life, okay? So in the month of August, I definitely feel that a lot of Aries will have opportunities. Um, I'm hearing collaboration. So some of y'all may be collaborating with other people, and especially when it comes to creative um, creative endeavors such as like music, um, my Aries who are in the arts, uh, my Aries who are stepping in, into any type of like metaphysical path, you're a healer, you're a Reiki specialist, my Aries who are um, doing anything having to do with physical fitness, um, this is gyms, this is uh, any type of like something like products, for those of you, for somebody who's waiting to get something approved by the FDA, it's going to be approved, you're going to get positive news, others of you are waiting for some type of closing on a bank loan, some of y'all are also getting into actually like practice, practices with the occult and like being able to teach or being like, oh, how can I say? Yeah, but being able to teach others when it comes to like money spells and rituals, the correct way of doing things that is not tied to any type of dark, darker aspects or energies. It's like teaching people the alchemy with, with you actually conquering that within yourself. Others of you, you're going to learn how damn strong your intention is during this time. Thought, word, action. Watch what the hell you think and reason what you speak because when they're in alignment with the with the feelings of love, then the things that flourishes from them is not, it has nothing but it has no choice but to prove itself otherwise. But when you manifest it from a space of ego, sometimes you get what you damn want with a few extra shit with a few extra shit, okay, that came that was matching your damn energy, then now you in this space of feeling as if you gotta cut the fuck off in order to truly expand and truly indulge in your blessings, okay? Everybody ain't meant to come and everybody can't eat at your table. Period, Ram. Y'all know this shit. Listen, who I'm talking to? Okay. Others of you, this could have to do with actually an opportunity to move, okay? I definitely keep hearing miraculous, miraculous, miraculous. Aries, if your hands are itching, baby, play the lottery, okay? I usually would not um, recommend or just tell people to go and gamble. But let me share something with y'all. <laughs> Since the month of March, I've been on a roll, okay? So let's <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Yes. Others of you, um, I don't know why I heard car issues, car issues. Some of y'all may be experiencing issues with your car. Um, again, I do see miraculous. Open up and stop feeling as if you gotta do every damn thing. Your self spirit is sending you guys divine help, divine assistance. Okay. Some of you guys also may have some type of earth angel encounter during this time. This person is actually an ancestor of yours, especially when it has to do with you with movement forward. Some of y'all may have a conversation with someone who you don't know at all, but this person literally confirms your thoughts when it comes to your next move on your path. That's spirit, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful rams when it comes to love? Sure. That's just what you have for my rams. Hmm. Yes! Come on! Some of you all, if you're attached to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay, some of you guys could also be finding out that you're pregnant by this person. Others of you are entering in a new relationship that is going to be very abundant, okay? 
practical looks practicality looks good in the month of August. I'm also seeing uh, something that you've been working on. Okay, it is definitely going to pay off. This could be something that is new or whatever new offer that you get as far as collaborating with collaborating with another person, whether this be an Earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, or a Leo. Okay, or someone new that you just met. You need not to kind of go into that situation when it comes to you know having that mindset of oh I can't trust you. I got to watch you. You need to really trust yourself. Yourself is not going to lead yourself in any, in any type of wrong areas. Your intuition is at a very heightened, um, at a very heightened peak during this time. Okay, so some of you guys just kind of have this knowing. If you feel that little funny feeling in your gut, the shit ain't for you. All right. Some of you all, <laughs> some of y'all, there's something trying to flourish and become very abundant when it comes to dealing with soulmate matters. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with again Earth signs, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys have a new relationship coming in, possibly with a Leo that you could possibly. Some of y'all could also be meeting a Gemini during this time, during Leo season, and I feel like this relationship is going to be beautiful. Here I got the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Sun, the Lovers, okay? Others of you, you have a new opportunity that is going to pay you great. Now, ironically, if you guys are getting offers to move, what you don't know is that the, the rest of your life, okay, everything that you've been trying to manifest where you are, it ain't meant to flourish where the fuck you at because you got to jump off the damn cliff with your scared fuck, all right? Others of you... Yeah. Others of you and the moves that you're going to be making going forward, you're going to leave possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or possibly a um, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person during this time is going to get out their damn head and actually speak up because they feel as if they're running out of time. There's an element of feeling like you're running, they're running out of time. Someone feels very rejected by your move, by the fact that you're bouncing up Aries and just choosing yourself during this time. This person could be a water sign, okay? And for others of you, you got a damn uh, Taurus. Some of y'all... Some of y'all going to be moving to, to higher levels of commitment. Some of y'all got an engagement coming. I'm sorry I just fucked it up, sis. But somebody getting it, somebody getting proposed to, okay, buy some water, buy a big body of water. So for those of you who going on vacation, somebody who's trying to get married on vacation or they're trying to propose and make a big scene and shit. So be cute, okay, when you go on vacation, sis. All right? Um, others of you. A situation that you didn't have any type of closure in. This could have been this. You could have been dealing with this for the last nine months, nine years, five months, five years. It is going to be coming to a close. Okay, there is going to be some type of peaceful resolution or peaceful resolve in the matter that you've been dealing with with matters of the heart. Okay, yeah. Some of you all, you could have recently just cut off an air sign. Or air sign could have cut you off and made you feel rejected. Okay, but what you don't know is that this person. This person got some, they, they own inner demons that they needed to sort out, Aries. And through you, and through the work that you've been putting into yourself, but this person couldn't really keep up, okay? The reason why they couldn't catch up, Hot Sauce, was because you inspired this person to actually put that work into themselves. And this person is going to be trying to come back and reconcile, Aries, within the next three weeks or three months for some of y'all, okay? Others of you, yes, some of y'all are going to be getting some type of communication when it comes to your children, okay, this could have to do with the father or the mother of your children, all right, someone is wanting to release the whole control aspect, I feel like someone had the element of I want to win, or, I'm going to show you, and what ended up happening is that you both showed each other that shit was going to stay stagnant, so I do see some of y'all have a decision to make, whether to move, move backwards, into some type of reconciliation with the family situation or to move forward. Now, this is the kicker. For some of you all, no way is the wrong way. But others of you all, somebody still needs to do some work in themselves when it comes to going backwards. So you will be receiving, as soon as you move on from this person, you're going to get a quick opportunity that comes suddenly. You may tell yourself, oh, no, this is too soon. I do see some of y'all have been keeping your new opportunity. Some of y'all got a new opportunity in love. Others of you just have to do with you actually moving away and actually going to go live your best life and live your dreams and actually start up that new boutique that so somebody's going to open up a boutique somewhere and there's some water, okay? Others of you, somebody wants to have some type of online store. I do see it flourishing. I hear this. I feel to say, bro, because it's one of my Aries brothers here. Um, somebody else is doing something when it has to do with fitness, healthcare. Whoever I'm speaking to when it has to do with that fitness, healthcare, it's about your, it's about your marketing aspect with that. Use the word of mouth and also your religious tie. Like if you go to church for somebody who use your, uh, allow your church members to uh, be of assistance when it comes to the word of mouth and getting that out there. Okay. Hell, you pulled your money into the damn church. That What have you done for me lately? Okay. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing to it but to ask. Speak up. Everybody's not psychic like he is. Okay. 
Others of you, you letting go of a situation that you've been trying to, you letting go control in a situation. Some of you guys could have been not speaking to somebody. Someone is going to let let up off of their whole little answers because the thing is, you and this person mutually want to talk to each other. Both of y'all feel burdened. Somebody feel like they cannot move on without having this conversation or getting some shit off their chest. Spirit is saying, you're going to get the opportunity to get it off your chest, but don't allow it to come from a malice place. Allow it to come from a space of love in order to get the desired outcome that you would like to see. And don't focus on what could go wrong. This person, for some of y'all, is not even the same person. Some of y'all, this person coming back as a damn near guru and it's going to scare the shit out of you like, Mother, who the fuck is this person and what have he done with my child's father? Because there's no way that this could be the same motherfucker. He left out as damn, uh, uh, what's that, what's that, uh, damn it. Oh, shit. I can't think of his name. He left out as a motherfucker just, you know, who just real like, 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 you know, he left out a city boy and came back Buddha. Uh, so who the hell is this mother? This person has to undergo some type of transformation, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, every single Sagittarius. You are going to get your wish when it comes to releasing the burdens around a family situation and someone is going to offer to help you financially because this person really don't even know how to handle the new you, Aries. They only know that Aries know. They only know that I'm not going to come in Aries world broke because they're not going to fucking have it, especially when they sit here pretty as the motherfucking King of Pentacles. They done the work. So Aries is looking real. Aries glow is on fleek. Aries is looking all Empress-ish, okay? Um, For some of y'all, high priestess-ish, okay? Aries is looking real good. And I don't really know how to come back to Aries. I just know that I need to offer Aries some money. Some of y'all don't take the damn fake because this person, as soon as you take it, they're going to feel like y'all go together the next day. So watch how you moving, okay? Others of you, Aries, in the month of August, your ass is going to be getting pregnant with child. Some of y'all also may be actually having your baby in the month of August. Congratulations, boo. I love the kids. Either way, okay? Um, others of you who have your own business, baby, shit's fed up pop and as soon as you get the focus on some of y'all are trying to expand the brand or expand um I'm here. I keep hearing online stores. Some of y'all actually who already do some type of meta, uh, metaphysical practices you may be working on um creative like I'm seeing jewelry I'm also seeing crystal necklaces I'm also seeing pendants like the one I got on here I'm seeing different things I also heard sponsors so every some of y'all also may be getting sponsorship offers to actually start um, the new endeavor based on the work that you've already put into the old one. So pretty much that money is going to make itself. And you can stop focusing on the material side of things and start living and getting this damn sun energy out and actually get out there. And some of y'all is actually is having to do with you need to get out in the sun, get out Aries, become more active. Okay. For my Aries who've been in this space of sadness or feeling as if you've been stagnant, you are literally the creator of your own damn destiny. So with that said, if you're going to stay in this energy of sadness, then that's what the hell you're going to manifest, sis. Bro, get out of there. Let it go. Like the ice queen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Some of y'all letting letting shit go with an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you guys are going to bring the tower moment to someone. Okay. And let someone know this is what you, this is what I forgive you. For what you have done, because it made a better me and it made me learn to trust myself and it taught me many aspects of myself. However, <laughs> I wish you well and I pray that moving forward, you know, you choose not to treat anyone like that because they just had it all mapped out how they was gonna come back in your life. Like, and Ellie's like, no, baby, while you left me by myself, when you left me to drown, I healed instead. And so, your reconciliation, yeah, I know I've invested a whole lot, but I think I'm going to focus on investing more into myself because I actually see me growing, and so do you. That's why you want to reconcile right now, okay? For others of you, this is not going to be able to come into fruition until I'm here in the month of November. Some of y'all will be reconnecting the family situation. I feel like it's going to start, or they're going to, there's going to be an offer, like a peace offering made now. Aries, some of y'all are going to be receiving a gift possibly from a Leo, Somebody's receiving a, I'm sorry. Y'all, if you're dealing with the sign of Gemini, Aries, they sorry, okay? They sorry. They didn't tell you everything up front, okay? Some of you guys could also be entering into a long-distance relationship. You're kind of weighing out that shit because you're just like, listen, i already been waiting for a motherfucker to get their life right here. So I'm like, damn, some of y'all are resisting 
even moving forward in a relationship because you're just like, damn, but I'm going to lose all my single. <laughs> so I lose doing what I want to do. But it's not, no, no, no. It's about you connecting, not settling, but connecting with someone who openly accepts you. And the aspects of you that may intimidate other people. Everybody's not meant to rock with you like that. But it comes with conversation and conversation and comprehension within the conversation. Are we able to come to terms and figure that shit out at the beginning instead of wasting time with people? Okay. Some of you guys have a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You, this, y'all, you and this person could have experienced some type of third party situation in the past. This person is kind of in their head. This, some of y'all could definitely be a Sagittarius. Okay. Some of y'all actually got new love coming in or a renewed love coming in in the form of a Sagittarius, okay? Others of you, this could have to do with um, Aries. Um, it's Aries. Some of y'all could be able to do with Aries, but um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you guys have a, some of y'all, some of y'all have a Capricorn and it feels as if you're just throwing them away like you threw them in the trash. So they don't really have clarity on everything, but this person could have had you in a third party situation or wanted you to be open to third party energy. And yeah, I would throw that shit in the trash because it's totally garbage at that point. Okay. But some of you all have a, a water sign in your energy and it's a fire sign in your energy that you're really not sure. This person is really not sure. With them coming into your world, what they walking into, because this person sees you as being very attractive, and they just assume because you're so damn attractive, okay, that um, you could be having a whole lot of options. Some of y'all, that's true. Tell them shit. Ask them where they competitive spirit at. The fuck, you just don't quit. Where's your competitive spirit? Just <laughs> ah, don't be like Mocha, because I'm enjoying my I'm enjoying my time, okay. I know that my time is gonna be coming to an end really soon. I'm enjoying my time, okay. Some of you all, some of you guys, um, someone is really coming in very quickly. This looks like a fire energy, an earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to fix it, Aries, before you move away. They they, they want to fix it. They don't want a cycle to completely end. They want to now give to it when they once possibly made you feel like you was a second option. Now they want to give to it because they see that everybody, if I don't give to it, someone wants to give to it, okay? Some of you guys also uh, could also be offering love to a Taurus. This is definitely a past life connection. And this person sees you as being very beautiful. They have a lot of love to give and for you if you allow it. I definitely have two counterparts on the table. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you are definitely dealing with um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign where there was once resistance and two people wanted to be players and shit. Now both of y'all are very passionate about each other. This person wants to be the wants to be the spark to your fire, and they want to show you Aries that they want to move the situation where it's one stagnant. Some of you guys are going to be some of y'all got a Pisces coming in to come see you and talk to you that you need to make a judgment call regarding. Okay, some of y'all is regarding a Pisces and a Cancer, and some of you guys are either going to choose one. Of those relationships because one of them is actually going to bring you your wishes what you've been trying to manifest but it's up to you to feel your way through it that's the kicker okay others of you this has to do with you actually moving away some of y'all are moving to another state and there's this lack mindset that you're having to conquer with knowing that you're going to be okay okay others of you are dealing with an herb sign I feel like some of y'all have been trying to keep this relationship going and some of you guys have painted an illusion in your own damn brain space, okay, that how things are going to be moving, but what you don't know is, is behind the, behind the scenes, this person, you can find out this person is trying to get back to the mother and father of their child where they feel safety at, okay, because with you, they feel as if you're going to require them to actually put in this work, okay, and some of y'all got somebody want to come back, they really in their head about it, but they know that Aries is not with the shit, so they have to be Come a better version of themselves in order to come back. Some of y'all gonna find out why that Leo left. That Leo left because that damn Gemini is pregnant that had a baby that they don't know is there yet. Y'all gonna be finding all this shit out in the month of August. Somebody tried to shit on you with a paternity test for surprise. I'm going ahead and say it because I see it. Somebody tried to shit on my Aries in the past for a paternity test, and this person could have actually done the same thing to another person. 
that person they actually committed to, there was some type of third party situation. And some of y'all could be having dreams about this. There was some type of third party situation with that person. Pretty much this person is reliving the same thing that they put you through, but they're on the receiving end. And being on this receiving end, they're gonna find out that they that they actually um that they actually chose the wrong um situation to give to and that they actually had possibly abandon a child in the past that they was denying this person is wanting to come back and fix the situation Aries you're having to be allowing be accepting do you understand because if you do well you may feel as if you're lacking financially this person is going to come in and meet you halfway in order to rectify it's like well I now have another damn pair on the table okay so now I got the king and queen of wands the king and queen of pentacles the king and queen of cups you guys are moving into a space where there is love, abundance, as well as healthy, healthy passion in a situation. When I say healthy passion, because some of y'all know that sometimes passion can overdrive situations and become unhealthy. Where the only time y'all get along is when you're laying down, when you get your ass up, you don't like a motherfucker. Yeah. So a lot of you guys are moving in this space of having this healthy balance in your life that is going to be activated in the month of August. But it's all up to you and what you allow to actually transform in your life. If you try and fight it, then you're going to receive back and you're going to receive a reflection of just what you give it, and that's a fight. Remember who you are. Know that when you align your thoughts, your heart, thought, word, action, you align your thoughts with the things that you speak, positivity, then you get positive results because you manifest that. And that's what you put out, so you get that back. During this time, I see beautiful energy, but Aries, you definitely needed to make a decision. Do I keep juggling? Do I keep my, look, to keep the hose or to release the hose? That is the question. But at the end of the day, Aries not losing nothing in the month of August. There is happiness, fulfillment, as well as stable hose that, that could possibly be, you know, wives and husbands. You never know. But I see some beautiful energy trying to come in that only you can stand in the way of, Aries, all right? So you guys let me know how this damn resonates, baby. This is the tea, honey. But I do see um, some of y'all are definitely going to be rectifying cycles. For those of you who grew up possibly feeling as if there was some type of rejection or there wasn't the a or aspect of love. Like you guys were taught the aspect of finances and abundance around life. You know, but when it comes to how to love, some of you guys are going to be coming to terms with that and actually righting wrongs when it comes to family situations going forward with your family and accepting the fact that you can't change the past, but you can transmute the future. Okay. So you guys, I see much love and light, um, as well as many blessings, y'all. And again, two half holes. That is the question. Okay. Aries men, y'all got a hell of a decision to make between these two women. Uh-huh. I see you. I see you. But I send you all many blessings, family, and don't forget to check the community tab. Also, if you have not already, you guys go follow my damn tarot page on uh, Instagram. I'm trying to do weekly readings either on Sunday and Monday. Y'all know me. Either I'm going to put them together or some days I may separate them, but I do want to do elemental readings on Sunday and Monday, just kind of checking within the week. Uh, so I can kind of keep in contact even throughout the, even when it's not the mid-month time. Okay? And also, there's a sale in the community tab. Go check that out. Love y'all. Bye, booze. I got to go live with these water babies, but they cut me.